A highly anticipated film that recounts Martin Luther King Jr.'s historic voting rights march nearly 50 years ago opened at theaters today. Some big stars came out for a special screening of Selma in Santa Barbara, including a civil rights leader of that era who spoke with News Channel 3's Sherman Roger on why the film is so timely. It is unacceptable that they use their power to keep us voiceless. The powerful voice of David Oyelowo in a role he says was his calling to play Martin Luther King Jr. as he led thousands of black Americans in a march from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama for equal voting rights some 50 years ago. On Bloody Sunday, 600 of us left a little church and attempted to march in an orderly, peaceful, nonviolent fashion. And we were determined to make it from Selma to Montgomery. And this is the man who was actually there, crossing that bridge with just a backpack on his shoulders and a whole lot of courage. When you were watching the movie, did it take you back? Oh, it did take me back. I cried. I cried. I started to try to stop crying, and I couldn't because it was so real. We didn't have any idea that we would be beaten and trampled by horses and tear gas. So on that afternoon, when I was sitting ahead and left bloody and unconscious, I thought I saw death, I thought I was going to die. And to live and almost 50 years later and see someone playing me on a film, I am blessed. John Lewis, one of the most prominent civil rights leaders of our time, was among the legends who paved the way. And among those legends, honored on the red carpet at a special screening of the film Selma in Santa Barbara. Uh, I'm only standing here, my wife is standing here, because of the march, because of those people sacrificed their lives so that we could vote. They put their lives on the line. People died. People sacrificed huge amounts. It's so wonderful to be able to watch the people who are actually walking across that bridge now watch this film. And tonight we get to honor and celebrate all of you. Montecito resident Oprah Winfrey signed on as a producer of the film and also stars as Annie Lee Cooper, a little-known hero of the voting rights movement that eventually led to President Johnson signing the Voting Rights Act of 1965. And the fact that this really happened and that it actually happened 50 years ago and that I get to celebrate them and that I get to celebrate them in Santa Barbara and I get to live here, I mean, it's just, oh, Lord. It's, it's amazing. Now, while the film Selma takes us back to a tumultuous period back in 1965, it echoes what is happening in the United States today. When you think of what's going on in Ferguson, New York City, Cleveland, all around the country, for that matter, it is a stark reminder that we have been through difficult times as a nation. And it's just um, a reminder of how we all have to come together to come to some solution. And the most beautiful thing I saw during the protest was it wasn't just black people. It was people of all races coming together saying this is wrong and we're with you, which is what I saw in Selma. So the timing of it is really shocking. The parallels are striking as we've been witnessing thousands of demonstrators joining together around the country to protest injustices they say Americans still face. Do you think that this young generation is trying to do what you guys did 50 years ago? Well, I, I think the young people today all over America, and some not so young, are picking up what we're left for. I'm so now, Selma hits theaters nationwide today, but Sunday are the Golden Globes. They're up for four nods, including Best Picture, Best Actor for David Oyelowo, and Ava DuVernay. She's the first African-American woman to be nominated for Best Director. In Santa Barbara, Sharin Roger, News Channel 3.